What's up everybody, welcome back to another video by Trunk for Screen 34. Today, we're going to be doing a review on Metallic Nick stickers from the Scavenger Hunt series. Um, but before that, I do just want to kind of give a little update on my channel. I am going to be taking a break, <clears throat> excuse me, from uploads, um, kind of. I mean, I'm going to kind of slow them down. I've been doing like three videos a week, um, two to three videos a week lately. I'm going to kind of slow down just a little. Um, I also, um, I was going to do a Stock Car vs. Next Gen episode this week, but I've decided to wait and do episode 3 next month, just because I have so many, like, actual new cars that I want to review, like Metallic Nick stickers, and I want to kind of review those first, and then do, like, a Stock Car vs. Next Gen. So, I don't think I'm going to do one this month, but, um... I am going to keep the regular reviews coming. So, without further ado, let's get started. Um, this is the first time I'm reviewing a scavenger hunt car on my channel, so this should be interesting. This is, of course, the metallic version of Nick Stickers. This is from Case F and E. Um, now, I've actually reviewed almost all of Case E and F. I'll be reviewing Xanadu bumpers um, next, and then I just need to... Um, find Cars 3 Bob Cutlass, and then I'll be done with this case, which is really nice. So here we have the Slanted Cars logo. It's a nice art of Nick Stickers in the desert background. The Scavenger Hunt name tag with the um, magnifying glass over the question mark. And I like the name tags. It says, camera focus, metallic Nick Stickers, and then spe special metallic edition. On the back here, we also have spe blah, can't talk. special Metallic Edition, along with Metallic Florida Ramon, Metallic Sally, Metallic Shin, and Rex. Ramon is out in Case D, who we'll be reviewing in a couple of days. Um, Shannon is out in Case J, Rex is out in Case M, and we're just waiting on Sally now. A bunch of legal information, and of course, Made in Thailand. So... That's it for the package. I'll be right back with this awesome car out of the package. So here we are, metallic Nick stickers out of the package, and he looks incredible. Unfortunately, I do not have a the regular Nick stickers to compare him to, which is a little unfortunate, but that's alright. We can do a review just fine without him. So I love this metallic green, it just looks so well done and so beautiful looking. But yeah, here we have Nick Stinkers, who appeared at the end credits of Cars 1 coming out of the curio shop with a bunch of stickers. He has a nice happy expression with brown eyes. We have these stickers that say Flats Happen and I Heart All RS. On the side here, we have some more stickers. We have Radiator Springs, Surge's Surplus Hut, Radiator Springs Drive-In, um, another Radiator Springs sticker, there's a Willie's Butte sticker, another Radiator Springs sticker, and then Life Begins on the Off-Ramp sticker. On the back we have his license plate, 235NW, which I'm not really sure what that is supposed to mean. Um, could just be a random license plate they came up with. Could just actually have some sort of meaning behind it. Who knows? The license plates do tend to have meanings a lot of the times, though. So it's really hard to say for sure. And then here we have this little sticker here, which I want to say... I can't really tell what that is. I mean, from a distance, it kind of looks like a rhino, to be completely honest. But as I look closer, it kind of looks like the radiator cap. Maybe? I don't know. Um, but the point is, it is there, and it looks cool. I really do like these rims. It's like the, almost look like little saw blades there. It looks really nice and well done. And you can see here's his front grill. Very, very nice and textured, as well as the headlights. And the eyes are, of course, because this is a Thailand, they are, of course, blurry, but, hey, it's very hard to notice when you're, like, looking at it from a distance. Um, here we have the, you can see the segmented eyepiece, which all Thailand cars, or most of them do, have the segmented eyes. You can see the little black windows, giant black window, 
and they, the metallic even translates onto the mirrors, which is really cool. Very, very nice. So, eventually, when I get the normal Nick stickers, I will do a video on him, probably through Flashback Friday, which is another thing I actually hope to bring back, so fingers crossed I can do that soon. Um, but, yeah, um, this is just kind of reviewing the metallic counterpart. I'll, of course, go much, much, much more in-depth once I get the regular version. If I can get the regular version, hopefully, fingers crossed that I, uh, I'll be able to. But, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, as I said, I'm going to be doing um, regular reviews this week. I'm not going to be doing the Stock Car vs. Next Gen episode like I th thought I was going to do. Um, so be sure to check out the About section on my channel because there I will be posting a video schedule where I will let you guys know what videos are coming throughout the coming weeks because I basically have all my videos planned for like the rest of the month and going into June so it's gonna be gonna be gonna be fun um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you all next time